You know, you can learn data science for free online. And I'm gonna show you how. So you wanna learn data science, huh? Hey you technology loving kings and queens, how's it going? My name is Andrew from Data Leap and this is where we are going to talk about how you, yes you, start your very first three days of data science learning. And get you up to the level where you have enough expertise in order to start applying for jobs in that field. Wait, did I just say three days? That's right three days or three weeks or three months, whatever it takes to learn data science, you can get started with this comprehensive guide. I'm gonna cover 21 days, but if you want to break it down into three different sections, Python, Pandas, and data visualization, putting those together would put your best foot forward into the data science world. And that is how I would lay out the data science Bible. 21 days from going from zero to hero. You see, five years ago, Andrew from Data Leap was not the person you see here. Me from the past had to bang his head against so many books just to see what would come out. And oftentimes, it turned out that these specialized books didn't actually get me very far. Not only the free ones, but also the paid ones. Why? Because of habit. Making sure that you have people around you, which is why I am going to invite every single one of you to the Discord that Kenji has created for creating a community for the 66 days of data challenge. That is going to be your best way to build good habits during this time of learning data science from the very, very beginning. And why do you think I'm gonna do this, you might ask? Now, a lot of courses out there are explaining exactly how to get around data science for money. And a lot of courses out there are trying to explain how to get through data science for free. This video is a video response to Python Programmer's amazing six minute video about where to get started. He compiled an entire list of resources for you. I've created a curated list of learning resources. And I think that's great but a lot of the things on his list implies that you have understanding how to learn from a textbook by yourself in the pandemic, all alone. It implies that you are able to learn spontaneously without someone poking at you with a stick and helping you get to your goal. So like he says in his videos, the very first step, commit. And how do you commit? Well, we are currently, as I am recording this, on the third day of the Kenji 66 days of data challenge. And ever since the challenge started, I've started to interact with the amazing people in the challenge. And there is a particular person who sent me a very insightful message. Let me read it. This message came from Dominic James Cervantes. His wife calls him Dom, so he just tells everyone to call him Dom. Dom says that he has a friend who is trying to start data science, and this friend has no background in the sciences or mathematics or data. He might have taken one stats class in college or maybe a couple of finance classes, but he knows that he has a massive mathematical gap in his learning. So if I, Andrew from Data Leap were to create a roadmap to build a top-notch, superhuman data scientist from scratch. What would this individual, his friend, need to learn and apply to go from zero to hero? He's asking for his friend. I get it, Dom. You're asking for your friend. So let me start you off with this. Don't start with math. Your very first three days, one week, and one month of data science learning should never start in a place that requires you to bunker down with a book by yourself, dealing with mathematical concepts that you're not familiar with. Let me tell you a little secret as a data scientist. I'll just move the camera closer, a little closer, a little closer. I don't really do math, at least on a day-to-day -day basis. You see, what I consider hard maths, the calculus, the linear algebra, and the understanding of how models work, that is something that I keep on the back burner as an educational and gut-checking premise for most machine learning and analytical projects. But once again, we're not starting with math. We are starting with Python. And this is a course, I'm not sure if you know, this is a course that nobody has come up with at all. It's called the Kaggle, Kaggle 
you know, the data the science community. Let me just show you what it's got. What does that sound? I think this is so good. You know, remember, this is oh. a free course that they have oh. here. The first online course that I'm going to recommend are the Kaggle micro courses. Okay. Kenji seems to have a couple months ago, and now Python Professor has just a few days ago endorsed this Kaggle micro course. And that is great. You see, the Python section right here has only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven modules. And that is how I want you to start your first week of data science. Here, you're going to spend each day learning along each of these pieces. And I'm going to be here live streaming every day of this week, helping you get through this section of the Kaggle course. If you have no experience with Python, hey, it took me only 10 minutes to explain all of the Python you possibly need. That is actually everything that the Kaggle course goes through. So if you want to learn it in 10 minutes, it's right up here. But if you want to start the right step forward to data science, this is the first step. You have to move through the Kaggle course and take it piece by piece. And now a couple of thoughts about where to go from here. You can easily start moving into the Intro to Machine Learning course, uh, which handily moves into the Intermediate Machine Learning course. But I would say skip that for now and move into Pandas and Feature Engineering. That is an amazing piece of directly applicable additional Python that augments the Python knowledge that you have. And it's helpful because then you can go directly into this course right here and move into the Pandas versus SQL understanding of how to interact with larger amounts of data. Here's how I would plan your next week. Inside the Pandas course, there are six modules, which might seem like you have a free day to relax, but data never sleeps. Inside the data visualization module, there are eight courses, which means that's your extra day for your third week. So that's one, two, and three weeks. So my kings and queens of data, now you finally understand how to structure your 21 days of data. So you want to make sure that you have a community, number one. Number two, don't start with math. And number three, take it a step at a time with the steps that I'm putting down in the description. And join the community on the Discord so that you have hundreds of people all around the world working on the exact same pace that you are working on. So. If you're wanting to see more content like this, make sure to hit the like button so that I know that you are listening. And please go ahead and leave a comment so that I can make more stories like Dom's come to life with another video with you featured in it. So fun, without further ado, peace. Hello? It's me, Andrew from Data League, but five years ago. And I have a bone to pick with what you just said. You think that people can just learn data science for free in 21 days? That makes no sense. You have to have a professor. You have to be able to have classmates and interact with people. Like, what do you mean? Ugh, I can't believe this guy. Uh, I mean, I think that we have a structured plan to hit data science down and running. We want to make sure that people have the right understanding of how to succeed. Don't you agree me from five years ago? Well, I don't like anything you're saying. This is not exactly the way that I would go about telling people that you can just go off and learn data science for free. Like, who do you think you are? You can't just go off saying that kind of stuff. <laughs> well, I think I'm Andrew from Data Leap, but I got some corgi pictures to see. Peace. Whoa. Okay, okay. Well, I guess I'll just stay here and wait until he comes back. Until then, I guess I'm just gonna have to think about what he said. I still don't see how you could possibly teach data science in 21 days. One eternity later. Hey, Andrew from Data Leap, what's wrong? Oh. Oh, hey, aren't you the data professor from YouTube? Spoiler alert, yes, he is the data professor from YouTube. Hello, I am Andrew from the near future, and I'm here to tell you, thank you. Thank you so much for staying until the very end of this video. As a reward, I want to give you a chance to turn your resume into the little peg that fits directly into the slot of cracking the data science interview process in Silicon Valley. Over on Data Professor's channel, I talk very extensively over how to make the perfect Silicon Valley resume. If you want your hands on a copy of the Word document that I use on that channel, then go ahead and go to dataleaptech.com. Input your email and you will get a pristine copy of the Word document. If you want to see 
how to get to the next step, head on over to his channel because he has a lot of good stuff waiting for you. Once again, subscribe if you haven't already. Please hit that like button and you guys are awesome. Peace. talking about.